Hello friends, welcome to the Jiminy Show. This chair is squeaking again. Now it's not. How y'all doing? Joe here. Thanks for coming back to check out another video. Really appreciate it. Get subscribed to all you guys that like the airsoft stuff. Keep coming back because we're going to keep doing what we're doing today. Yeah. I did a few pickups and we have a mystery box, which I can already hear some BBs in it, so I know that it's uh, good. I did a little bit more eBay hunting, which I like to do from time to time, and one of the airsoft guns I picked up was a Wii Tech High Kappa with a Springfield Custom, uh, I think it was called a garter slide on it. Here's a picture of it, or over here, or over here. No, we'll leave it over here. And it was a decent looking gun. The guy said the blowback unit was bad, but that really wasn't what the problem was. The slide was sticking because inside I could see that they had taken some kind of cleaning fluid to the uh, chrome line barrel. This is that black water. And they put something on it and it ate away the finish and left the gooey residue, which gummed up the whole thing. And he lied about what it needed. So I got rid of it, sold it for what I had into it. So that was a non, non starter. However, I did pick up a couple of things, including this guy, which you saw if you're following me and you saw the shorts, where I said, well, that escalated quickly because this was black. It was this color until I started cleaning it with gun cleaner and it took all the paint off. Well, that sucked because that meant that I'd have to take it all off and I'm going to. And the bad thing is, is that, you know, the stuff like the hammer and the trigger and everything works on it. And it needs to be rebuilt regardless because it won't work. This is the mag that came with it. The guy said it didn't work, so he sent along an extra green gas valve. Unfortunately, he also painted the magazines with the spray cans. Well, that's, that's really taking it really well, isn't it? You can probably see the smoke coming off of it. It leaks. The rest of the mag works. I was able to use it in another gun, but that valve leaks because the base that it goes into, the silicone O-ring, is destroyed. So that sucks. But I did get some green gas for testing other stuff. I haven't decided fully what I'm going to do with this yet because the other problem we got is there's still enough gas in it that it should work. See what it's doing there? So something inside is sticking when it does actually get gas. So I need to fully disassemble it. Don't know what the heck that was. I need to fully disassemble it, clean it the rest of the way, repair it, lubricate it, do all that good stuff and get it running. <sighs> Sponsor me. Next was this WE Tech or WE Tech MEU 1911. This guy right here. This is kind of like the competitor to the Elite Force Tech and the Tokyo Marui stuff. It's a blowback 1911 single stack style mag. This one is green gas and it was in really good shape other than the base of this mag being torn up. But I think they did that because they didn't have a long enough needle on their green gas cans. But this one actually works. And for 50 bucks shipped, I think I did really good because this is like a $75, $85 gun on the secondhand market. And this one, works so that's cool so that means this one is a sellable one should i decide to sell it i paid for this one out of my pocket so if i keep it it's no big loss and it came with a second magazine however the valve is stuck on this one it won't take any gas so it won't push in at all it's stuck in the out position so what i'm probably going to do is take the base off of this one the base off of this one and switch out the fill valve if that's all it needs, then I'll have a good working mag. And these are $25, $30 a piece. Speaking of which, I'm still waiting for the Blackwater magazine so that I can test this one. The CO2 mags are a little expensive. I was trying to find one on eBay, but I broke down and bought one from Amazon. However, it was coming from City of Industry in California, so that takes a while. And this one, if I decide to sell it, like I said, it's worth about 85 bucks, probably 100 if I get the other mag working or I could just keep it for my collection. Speaking of the collection, I did actually get rid of a couple of the guns already. Uh, the Glock, which was non-blowback, and the Umarex H&K, which was non-blowback. I got rid of those, and I'll get a blowback version of those in six millimeter BBs, because I'd like to shoot airsoft stuff. So that'll be cool. However, I did pick up another BB gun. 
This uh, is the box, the inside of a blister pack that I taped to a random box. These are good for actual real steel guns because I'm also a real steel gun guy. But it makes it really easy to store and keep these safe individually without having to try to keep the blister pack in shape. But this is a half blowback Smith & Wesson M&P 9177CO2. So this one is pretty cool. It's a little bit lighter than a real Smith & Wesson. However, it again has blowback and the same sight picture and most of the controls except for the takedown work so that I can use that for just uh, practicing with sight picture on a Smith & Wesson. And that has a retail of 80 bucks. I did get it a little bit cheaper because I work at the store, but if you want one, Google Liberty Arms. I always point down because they're down south in Harrisonburg, but I can't actually link them because I get yelled at. So go ahead and Google them and check them out. And uh, I'm gonna take a sip of this and we're gonna get to this box. I don't have wings yet. So this is a Fox Airsoft. Hey, $150 mystery box. It was actually $149.99. Now, Fox offers free shipping if you spend $150 or more. So what I did was I ordered a Fox Airsoft patch. I'm not a patch guy, but it was only a couple of bucks. So I managed to get free shipping by just paying a couple of extra dollars instead of paying $10 in shipping. Plus, I couldn't find any good coupon codes right now. But I did so well with the $100 box, I wanted to see what was in the $150 box. And uh, again, I just I don't have anything to open it with, so there we go. Now, it is open. Airsoft GI and Fox tend to be the two that have them in stock all the time. I've been watching the Evike Box of Awesomeness for the flash sales. I missed the last one and I uh, missed the Boneyard and the Open Box too because I just didn't think they were worth it and didn't buy them. Learn your lesson. Anyways, let's see what we got. We got paper. It's white paper this time. And it's okay if I see what's in it because you still haven't. Some more BBs, Lancer Tactical .2s. That's good. I have a Tupperware that I put the last bag in, so that will join them. We've got a pretty hefty duty laser. Wow, holy cow. Yeah, so we got a laser with the batteries aren't in it, they're in the bag. We got a laser with a pressure pad, which if it works, I may actually put on my real steel AR-15 pistol that I just built, and there'll be a video coming on that, well, I had built. Here's your Fox Airsoft mystery patch, or Fox Airsoft patch. I don't have anything for it to stick to. Another one, uh, better weapons, more peace. I got that last time, that's fine. Ooh, that's even better. In the $100 box, I got the polymer propane adapter, this time I got the all metal Mad Dog or Mad Bull. This is really good. If you don't have access to green gas, you can use this on a propane adapter or propane tank, and then you can use propane in your green gas firearms replicas. See how I covered it there? Uh, not looking. It's got the prices on there. Two Fox Airsoft badges. I don't remember buying two. Oh, freaking sweet. I just saw the top of this thing. Uh, yep, I do need to get an AEG because all I have is a gas blowback uh, BB gun, which they'd probably like ban me for life from the matches if I took that onto the field. But what we have here, <laughs> I actually bid on one of these on eBay because there was one that was listed for parts only. This is the Terran Tacticals Jag Precision GBB TTI CM Combat Master. Let's open this guy up. This is a sweet pistol and may make me feel better about selling one of the other 1911s because this guy comes with the manual. Two big things of, as C7 Viper puts it, poison nerds, and this guy. The Terran Tactical Combat Master 2011. This thing is awesome. And it's green gas, so that's cool. But as you can see, it's got a fiber optic front sight, it's got a magwell, it's got a bronze barrel. Yeah, nice high cap of mag. Now I kind of feel bad that I sold my other high cap of mag. Maybe I'll keep one of them that I still have. Yeah, that's that's pretty nice and sweet. 
And I love my 1911, 2011 style guns. In fact, I'm trying to pick up a new 2011 style Rock Island right now. Oh! <laughs> Somebody tested this thing. There was gas in it. But that's a showpiece right there. That is badass. I'm going to enjoy having that on, on display here. All right, let's do a little bit of math here because they also included in this the pricing list. I'm sure a lot of people on YouTube like myself that create content are probably wanting to know exactly what the normal price would be for what they got. So what we have in here is the JAG TTI Terran Tactical Innovations John Wick 3 Combat Master 2011. That comes in at $149.99. So that's the price of this whole box. You get 1,000.2 BBs. That's $5. The Mad Bull Propane Adapter, the all metal one. This guy was $24.99, which is a pretty good chunk of change that I'm glad I don't have to pay for. The patch was $7.99. That's pretty cool. The laser which is an enhanced airsoft laser, but I bet you this will work on a regular sidearm and or rifle, and we'll see if I wind up using it. This guy was $14.99, and then I added the Fox Airsoft patch to get the free shipping, and they happened to give me a second one as well, so that was pretty awesome. Grand total would have been $205.94 if you were to buy everything in this package separate, meaning we made about $52 because the patch was $2.99. That's a really good return on investment, especially if you're looking to just get into the game and go. If you have green gas already, you just load this thing up. You already have your BBs. Go shoot and have some fun. If not, well, you know, you got your propane adapter so you can get some propane and get into the game quickly that way too. I really like this one. I know it's probably a large number of boxes that got this, and I'm fine with that because, again, I was going to buy this on eBay for about this price on its own. So I thought that was a pretty good haul. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. If you think I got a crap box or you think I got a cool box, if you like the MEU or the, or the really messed up Colt license one, let me know down in the comments. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment, all that good stuff. Help the channel grow so that we can keep doing stuff like this. I am planning on getting another box, and I'm watching. Hopefully, I can get one of the Box of Awesomeness this is, this is when they become available. So come back next time, and as always, I'll talk to you later.